Yo, 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 I'm putting in some overtime tonight, guys. You know who it is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. Coming to you guys with an MLB main slate video. It's a small slate, so I figured why not. I got Schroeder up. He's going to be joining us for Schroeder's picks. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And I'd love to hear from you guys. And some amazing news. Schroeder is getting his own Instagram. So I'll leave his Instagram link in the description below. You want to go follow Schroeder on Instagram. He'd love to have your support on there. He'll be updating his pictures daily. And if you're new, by the way, this is Schroeder. This is Schroeder Skywalker. He wants to give a special shout out to Michael out there who's watching, who's one of his biggest fans, huh, Schroeder? Yeah, he's like, I, I like Michael. He's, he's a cool dude. Um, but yeah, Schroeder does his segment. At the end of the video, we do Schroeder's picks where he does his three home run calls. This cat right here is better at calling home runs than anybody on YouTube. And that's just a fact. So, yeah, guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment, and let's get into it, guys. So if you want to join the club, my home my, for lineups, cheat sheets, ownership, projections, every single sport, guys, not just MLB, you get NBA, NFL, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, WNBA, college sports, EuroLeague basketball. Click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And then pick your plans, guys. We're the cheapest in the industry. Schroeder is willing to bet his salmon treats on it. DFSclub.com, guys. My lineups, my cheat sheets, the ownership projections. Uh, we do price picks, guys. We have 400 plus people strong. Um, but these prices, guys, come on for every single sport. It's just ridiculous, but we don't mind. Um, that's what we do, man. We deliver the best product in the industry and the cheapest product. So come check us out. We'd love to have you. And let's bring up my sponsor, Draft Dashboard, guys. You already know what it is. Um, $1 for 30 days. Let's bring it up. There we go. There we go. All right. With that dollar, guys, you get NFL, NBA, MLB, and NHL, and they're always adding new stuff on. I'm going to talk to Chris and see if we can't get UFC on here, too, because I think that'd be dope. Um, you get access to all my save lineups, all my watch players, all my player pools, guys, the lineup optimizer. Who's trending up? Who's trending in down? Getting in the old prison pocket. The player trends, guys. Sleepers and studs. The position optimizer and the MLB cheat sheet. Because if you can't win, cheat. It's got the best studs, best mid tier, best value. This is draft dashboard. All right, Schroeder. So let's get into this, shall we? All right. All right. So pitching is god awful again, guys. God awful pitching. What? Oh, this is, this is, you know, Julio Urias is fine against Colorado because Colorado just strikes out so damn much, but he's 9'6". DK, he's $500 more. Coming off a 23 fantasy point game in his first outing. Last time it's Colorado, guys, he got a 46. So I do like that. But other than that, do I want to pay 7'7 for Rich freaking Hill? I guess I have no choice here. <laughs> Going up against Texas, I mean, Texas just strikes out a bunch, a bunch. Rich Hill got a 33 his last game. Um, I mean, I guess second option, my second favorite of the slate. I think Oakland's going to do good against Scooball. And Oakland's a cheap stack, guys. Oakland might be a popular stack again. Um, Sean Manaya for cheap at 6'7". I mean, he didn't have a bad outing his last one. 31 fantasy points. Last time against Detroit, guys, he got 58 fantasy points. Yeah. So there's that. And then Jakob Yunus, you want to be really contrarian because I'm sure a lot of people will stack Toronto. Um, he got a 33 in his first outing. He's only 6K. So, I mean, if you want to take some chances, I don't know what the hell happened to Patrick Corbin, but he's just like a nobody now. I don't know what happened. Maybe age. I don't know. He's not that old. It's not a thing. These are FanDuel prices. Yeah, we go to DraftKings. You're paying nine k for Ritual. Yeah, I don't feel good about that at all. Love them more on FanDuel, and then yeah, same thing, guys. 
So Urias, I mean, I guess Rich Hill at 9K, but Jesus. DraftKings is tripping with that price tag. Yeah. All right. So any catchers that we're looking at, we're going to go position by position. So Salvador Perez, this guy plays every game. Doesn't take a day off. He's 4.9K, uh, 23, 10, 16 fantasy points in his last three. He'll be going up against a righty. He crushes righties. OPS over 1,000, guys. You can get him in there. I know I don't cover catcher, but because you never know which catcher is going to play, but he's pretty safe, man. He doesn't miss a game. All right, so let's go to first base. Yanny Diaz is fine at, what, 3.3K, right, Schroeder? He says, that's right, man. A lot of people played Tampa, I think. I think they stacked Tampa today and got and got uh didn't win. I didn't I didn't see the angle there, but a lot of people were talking about it. Um, but Yanny Diaz, you're getting a power hitter at 3-3. 3.3K on DraftKings. He's $700, $700 cheaper on FanDuel. OPS against righties, way better than lefties. Yanny Diaz, I don't mind taking some shots there. All right, Schroeder. And then we got Rowdy Tellez, 2.9K for a power hitter. I don't mind that. Last two games, he's gotten double-digit fantasy points. It says he's slated about seventh, but I've seen him bat like second, um, sometimes fifth. But let's see. Rowdy Tellez. At 2-9 for a power hitter, one swing of the bat, guys, it changes the whole slate. So I don't mind that. All right, let's go to second base. There we go. All right, so Whit Merrifield is trying to get get his reads right now. Uh, Whit Merrifield at 5-7. Don't mind it. He's hit or miss, guys. It is what it is. He's one for three against Canning Lifetime. Uh, Righty, lefty matchup, it doesn't matter with him. Uh, one for three Lifetime with the double. Don't mind that. Marcus Simeon, I really like here. 5K. History against Eunice is 5 for 12. 5 for 12. 417 batting average. Three singles, one triple, one home run. So, yeah, Marcus Simeon, get him in there. Um, let's see. We're kind of liking Jed Lowry, too, for the Oakland Athletics. He's 3-6. These A's guys have been playing out of their mind, and they're so cheap. 23, 20, 12 fantasy points in his last three. Slated about second in the lineup. Um, get him in there, guys. That's way too cheap for Jed. All right, so let's go to third base. You excited about your Instagram, huh? He said, hell yeah, Dad. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Matt Chapman, going up against a lefty, though. I might, I might fade him here. 24 and 10 in his last two, but against lefties, not as good against righties, but... Chapman, two at four, three. I guess you can put him in there. I like to play the matchups personally, but, I mean, if you're going to stack the A's, how can you stack them without Chapman? Um, Condolero, I mean, if you want to stack this game, I don't mind a Detroit stack. I honestly don't. Um, they've been scoring runs. Candelero, 15, 14, 10 in his last three. Um, against Manaya, he's 0 for 4 last time, but he's going up against a lefty. His OPS versus lefties is over 1,000, 1,100, guys. Ymir Candelero, get him in there, guys, at 4K. Justin Turner at 5.5K, guys, going up versus Gomber. Gomber, my goodness, poor guy. Three for four lifetime, one single, two doubles. But for 5.5K, you kind of want a home run. So Turner can get you there at 5.5. Five. As usual, I think the Dodgers will be a, a popular stack. So if you want to get different, don't stack the Dodgers. Bo Boucher is in a great spot. He's been killing it 36, 14, 7 in his last three. He's still affordable at 4 9. He'll be in that 5K uh, range really quickly. OPS, righties, lefties, it doesn't matter with him. But against Eunice, he's two for four, one double, one home run. Bo Boucher, get him in there at 4.9. And let's go to outfielders. Oh, I got to sneeze. I feel it. I hate that. All right. So off the top, we got Mark Canna. He's supposed to lead off, which he has been. I try to cover my nose so I don't sneeze in the middle of my video. 9, 16, 10 in his last three. Canna's got some power. He can get it out of the ballpark, and he's going up against a lefty. He crushes lefties, guys. Kind of like an A stack and a low-key, like, uh, Tiger stack, too, guys. 4.1K. Get him in there. I want to stack the White Sox today, too, but for some reason, I thought that game was raining out. I got that game mixed up with another game. 
screw me, man. I mean, it's like, oh, and then I saw the score. I saw they were playing. Then I saw the score. I was like, oh, my God. Uh, it's just so chaotic sometimes. Uh, next up, Ramon Laureano, only 3.8K. This man steals bases. He does everything. He'll throw someone out from the wall, the outfield, all the way to home plate. I know you don't get fantasy points for that, but 3.8K, 10, 22, 31 in his last three, guys. And no bats against Kubel to think of, but bats third. Again, I like this A stack. They're just scoring a lot of freaking fantasy points. And they're cheap. Robbie Grossman, a former Oakland Athletic. Like I said, I don't mind sacking this game. He's It's a revenge game. Yes, if you've played competitive sports, you know that those things do exist. Those uh, those those people that say it doesn't, they've never played a, a, an organized sport in their life. They don't know anything. Um, revenge narratives, even in baseball. So I love Robbie Grossman when he was with the A's last year. He's only 3.3K. Lifetime versus Mania, three for, three for seven, batting 429. Grossman gets a lot of doubles and a lot of singles, but they add up. And so I do like him tomorrow at 3-3, three, three, projected about first or second. I think that's what he normally does. No more Marza, too. You're getting a power hitter for 2.5K. Now, there's a risk. You know, his floor is low. He could get a zero, but I do like that. It's a lefty. He does a lot better against lefties than he does righties. And 2.5K, no more Mazzara. There we go. Get him in there, guys. A lot of that Oakland-Detroit stack. Austin Meadows, 4.7K. Been kind of ass lately, not paying off that price tag, but it has gone down a little bit. He gets Lyles today. His OPS versus righties is 767, way better than against lefties. And he's two for three against Lyles with one single, one home run. I don't mind a one off with Tampa Bay with Austin Meadows. Um, Andrew Benatini, about 3.5K. I think that's way too cheap for him. He normally about second, 13 12 in his last two. I know with Boston for the last two years, he was absolute ass, but. He does a little better against righties. He's going up against Canning. We'll see what happens here. And that's it, guys. So don't you dare be sour because it's time for your favorite part of the video and mine. It's time for Schroeder's picks. So Schroeder's going to give us his three home run calls. First two are going to be single home runs, and his last player he picks is going to be who's going to get us two. All right, Schroeder, you ready to kick this off? You ready to uh, bounce back? All right, look at the excitement on his face. All right, Schroeder, so looking through the player pool here, who do you got for your first home run call? And I know, I'm sorry, there's no Mike Trout. Who's your first one? Oh. Okay. All right, I like it. Schroeder's first home run call is none other than Austin Meadows. All right, Schroeder, give the people what they want. Who's your second home run call? Who do you got? Oh, can you tone down the purring a little bit? Oh, oh, wonderful, Schroeder, wonderful. Schroeder's second home run call is none other than Bo Boucher. You're playing a little safe today, dude. All right, Schroeder, so here's where we need you. Who's going to get us two home runs, and who's going to break the slate, Schroeder? I need you to look in deep inside here and see who do we got. Two home runs. Okay. Yeah. Well, if that's what you that that's it. Really? All right. So Schroeder's two home run call is none other than Justin Turner, guys. And that's it. Schroeder's picks. You want more of that? You got to subscribe to the channel, guys. That's what we do. We have fun. You never know we're going to get on a Skywalker video. We might bring in some lions, tigers, and bears. I mean, you never you never know. We got a wild kingdom going around here. Uh, so that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much. It's another short MLB video, guys. I appreciate all the views, all the support. DFSclub.com. Come join the family. Schroeder and I would love to have you. Um, I'm going to add to the description. I'm going to make the account tonight, but yeah, Schroeder's going to have his own Instagram. So those of you that love Schroeder, like myself, you can follow him there. Um, cause yeah, let's face it. He's like my kid, my one, my actual son's turning 21 this year, but my animal kid Schroeder, um, I have, you know, just like all your kids, you have tons of pictures of them in, in your phone. So tons of content to post. We're going to build that tonight. 
And that's it, guys. And Draft Dashboard's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You can have Draft Dashboard. I'm going to say a prayer. I'm going to get up out of here. And I'm going to call it a night. So God bless you. God bless your families. God bless the pets. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. My name is Gabriel Skywalker. DFSclub.com. Subscribe.